Okay, real quick, everyone. It's your boy Lee Kicks. Real quick, um, I just wanted to do this video because it really upset me. Um, you know that stuff like this is still going on. This is what's taken away from the sneaker community and the sneaker culture, man. And um, I'm doing this video pretty much for collateral. You know, um, a part of me really wants to post this video, and I don't know. I, I might not. I might not. Will you know what I'm saying? But uh. To me, it needs to be posted because it needs to stop, you know. it's, it's I don't normally do stuff like this because it's not my character. But uh, I just hate to see stuff like this, you know, go slip through the cracks and nobody really does nothing about it because, you know, it's screwing the next person, possibly the next dozen, half dozen or whatever, two dozen people that, that buy shoes. But pretty much what happened was I bought some shoes because um I was supposed to have these cement fours when they first released. You know, I actually had two pairs lined up. They didn't fall through, so I'm pretty much trying to get a pair without having to pay the eBay prices. And, you know, I reached out to a fellow YouTuber who sells shoes, and I'm not going to mention his name, but I'm just going to let you guys read the label. I'm doing this off my iPhone because it got good quality and you can zoom in. But, um, like I said, I don't normally do this because it ain't right. Um, this ain't my character, like I said, but... It just sucks that we they were dealing with this. But I, I received this package. Real happy to have it, a shoe, you know what I'm saying? Uh soon I opened the box, there was like four red flags with this shoe. Something wasn't right. Like I said, I bought enough shoes, you know, throughout the years of collecting. And I'm I done got to the point where, you know, you can tell when something is not right. When you open a shoe and something's not right with the box, you know there's nothing there's something wrong with that shoe. Um like I said, I was very disappointed. I actually sent pictures to a couple of homies. They was like, yeah, there's something ain't right with that shoe. I actually took the shoe into a local shoe store that still had this shoe in a couple of sizes. And we compared it, and there was just too many differences. And uh, like I said, I was just very disappointed because the actual seller, you know, never would have thought that he was just, you know, was put out products like this. But I'm not saying all his products are like this, but this is enough to make me realize, you know, and like I told you guys before, man, I don't mess with early release pairs no more, uh, I've been quit messing with early release pairs, um, I bought everything from the stores now, um, and anything that says restock, you don't, I, I suggest you not to mess with it, you know what I'm saying, there's no, to me, it's hard to find a restock in some shoes that sold out in like two minutes online, you know what I'm saying, how y'all saying you have a 40 pair of restock, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, don't bite on something that seems too good. But I'm going to just quit talking because I don't want to make this video real long. But I'm going to let you guys see. I'm going to zoom in. And let you guys just read the name. That's all I'm going to say. Don't look at my address. It's probably too late. But, uh, yes. You see it with your own eyes. And you know this is my room. This is my sneaker room. This is Elite Kick's sneaker room right here. All the shoes. You got stacks behind stacks. So, yes, this is legit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and open this box and let you guys see the first thing that threw me off when I first opened this box. And I already done seen the, the release pairs, you know what I'm saying? Now look at this. Look at this shit, man. Now everybody that knows the cement fours did not come with no see-through paper. This shit is like smoke gray. Um, this is what... This was like one of the first things... I didn't really catch this because I, um, I really would, didn't pay attention, you know what I'm saying? But... After seeing the pairs, you know, the paper in the store, it was darker than this. You can't even see through the actual release pairs. Look at this. You can see straight through it. All right. So that was one kicker. Already you guys can see there was a yellow stain right there. So I'm going to pull one shoe out. Also, another thing that got me was I got this hang tag with no chain. It was just shoved in here like this, just like that on the side. And I was I was real upset about that because... Um, you know, that's that's not, you don't rarely find just a hang tag with no chain. Um, another thing that got me was, look at this hang tag. Uh, what side is it? Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to get it. Look how it's cut out. Look like it's been cut out, man. On both sides, actually. Look at that. Look like it's been cut out like a whole pattern of them. The paint's chipped right there. Actually, um... You guys might not can't see it, but right here, in the middle of it, it's like a big piece of plastic. Look at that. It's like plastic material still stuck out. And it's just messed up right here. And look how flimsy this is. 
You know, I went to the sneaker store and the, even the lady grabbed it. She's like, it ain't even supposed to be bending like this easy. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a little harder. So, like I said, there was no chain on the hang tag. It was just shoved in there. It looks like it's been cut out a whole pack of hang tags. And um, this was another thing that really upset me. So, pull the shoes out. Checking the shoes out. Everything seemed straight until, for one, the shoes was kind of wrinkled on the side. You know, there's a lot of wrinkle on the side. I know every pair of Jordans you get is not going to be perfect because I have got some shoes that, that just has not been, you know, perfect. You know, you might have a little glue there, a little old paint. But look at this sole right here. It's yellowing already. It's yellow. Like, in person, it looks worse. Um, Actually, if I send pictures, like, if you, I have pictures, it looks worse on pictures. Then you can see this yellow stain right there. And granted, uh, you have to see it in person. But the laces and the net, all the net on the shoe is actually yellow. Like it's a light yellow compared to the release pair. Because we was in the store and I was just like, damn. You know, I was so embarrassed to even like have this shoe in my hand in front of everybody. And look how the side right here is wrinkled up. And uh, here's the other shoe. And as you guys can see, the wrinkling is worse. But the midsole is what killed me, man. Because it's like... I have the Countdown Pack 4s, I have the Miss Blue 4s, I have the Anniversary 4s, you know, I have, I have some 4s, and look, you can tell the difference, this is white, this is yellow, same on this side, let me turn my light off real quick, oh, that shit's on, now you might can see it better now, see how, look, look, compare it, this thing's supposed to be like this, in the store, you can actually see, in the store, you can actually see that this is white, real white. Um, but like I said, I was disappointed and coming from the seller itself. And then what got me was some of these speckles right here are real light on the camera. It might seem like actually good, but they're in person. They're real light. This camera is real good quality, but far, if you keep the shoe back, you can't even barely see them on the other side. They're darker and bolder. Um, and like I said, every shoe is not going to be made the same because all, you know, all the shoes, are pretty much constructed of the same material, but it's not going to be the same patterns or whatnot. But that's another kicker. But like I said, um, the soles are yellow, and that's that's just that was just a negative for me. And like I said, um, I'm not doing this video to like bash somebody or try to expose somebody, but I'm just doing this because a part of me wants to release this because y'all know how the sneaker community is right now. We're dealing with we're dealing with a whole bunch of resellers. Uh, we're dealing with people trying to raise the prices on shoes. We're dealing with people just buying shoes that don't even really want the shoe. They just want to make money off of it. Uh, everybody wants to make a quick buck, but everybody... I mean, this is not the way to do it, man. And like I said, I don't know all his stuff is legit, but I know if you get a whole bunch of shoes four or five months early, something ain't right, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't deal with early release pairs no more because I'd rather have something authentic, man. You know, you go out to anywhere, to a real area where a lot of sneakerheads, man, people going to know if you got B-grades on. And these just, to me, is just like B-grades. So, uh, I wanted to do this video. Um, like I said, man, and it's, it sucks because, you know, it's probably not going to make YouTube, maybe one day. <laughs> but, um, you know, you hate to see people like this make money, man. And like I said, I don't know if this dude sells all B-grades, but I did read some of his comments on some of his other videos, and... There was a couple of people that did say something about, yo, don't buy from this dude. All his shoes are B grades. Uh, a lot of people don't pay attention to that. Just because somebody has 45 good comments and one bad comment, that one bad comment is the one you really need to pay attention to. So um, for all you guys out there buying shoes from people like this, man, please read the comments before you just go buying stuff, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. I've been doing this too long. and I got scammed out of $1,600, which I'm going to do a video about that later. And, um, you know, this is what we're dealing with. So, yellow soles. But all you young dudes, man, that's want to buy shoes, man, that's into the sneaker game, please, man, do not just jump on anything like this, man. I'm telling you guys, you will go broke for one, and for two, you're going to buy a whole bunch of shoes and not be happy. So, uh, once again, it sucks that I have to do this, but uh, I'm doing this video for collateral pretty much. Uh, part of me wants to post it because if I'm a real sneakerhead and I care about everybody else, I would do some shit like this. Because you don't want to see a whole bunch of people buying shoes and uh, not say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, there's a lot of stuff I wish people warned me about. But uh, once again, 
doing this video. It's your boy Elite Kicks. Out.